Hi everybody, it's Chris Dunaway with the LSU Ag Center. And as you can see, I'm here at a home trying to diagnose a problem with this lawn. So, as you, clearly there's a problem. And you can see that there's a very much dead area over here with a line of dying material as we go out from the center. Now this kind of damage, and considering how devastating it's been really is indicative of tropical sodworms which have been pretty bad at this time of year so it's the best thing to do is to go to the edge of where you see the damage between the good and the bad area this is where they're actively feeding this is where the webworms are going to be found so you want to come down and really try to get a look at this grass very often you'll see the webs gossamer hanging you know stretched between the blades of grass uh, one thing that's a telltale sign of also damage is from the predation is looking for feeding on the leaves so like right there you can see that these notches have been cut out of this leaf here very much showing you where they've been chewing. So that kind of thing, and lets you know that you're not dealing with a fungus or disease, you're definitely with something, dealing with something that's eating it. Now they're more active at nighttime, so keep looking. So here we have pay dirt, so there's very young in star. This is a very small caterpillar here. But that's the sodworm. That's one of the. That's the early stage. He's up. Oh, actually, he's bigger than I thought. He was just playing possum. So you can see how difficult it is to maybe spot them. Is he's going to curl up like that? And let's give him a second. See what he does. There he goes. off he goes to eat more grass so that's what we're dealing with tropical sod webworms that's one way to do it just get on your hands and knees and and keep looking there's also the bucket test where you pour the uh, uh, some soapy water on this area and what that does is a lot of times it'll just make them wiggle around more now that we know that we are dealing with tropical sod webworms and not some disease we can select the proper insecticide and make the application. You will want to make sure that you do identify the pests. It's always very important to identify the pests that you're dealing with. You want to select the product that is appropriate that you can use and make sure you read the label and follow those label instructions. Spinosad is one of the best products that you can use, uh, that a homeowner can use. There are um, hose end applicators that you could just hose it uh, onto the lawn or you could mix it with a in a pump sprayer. In a situation like this, it's late in the season, but he could possibly apply a one quarter strength application of fertilizer, about one quarter pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. Could uh, possibly just give this enough kick to come back. There is some green poking through, but uh, some little encouragement. I wouldn't put it any further past the end of October though. So. This is what tropical sod web worm damage looks like. I've shown you the worm in action. So now you know how to take care of your situation if you have to deal with it. So again, this is Chris Dunaway with the LA Shag Center. Go out and enjoy this weather and take care of your lawn.